this one one new moon portal what sort of new beginnings beautiful new timelines are coming in for you this is a very special reading because spirit is woke me up at 3 33 a.m and it is now 5 45 a.m on the one one new moon portal and it's time for me to go ahead and do this very special reading for you guys hello and welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is luna i am your oracle of stylite i channel messages from archangels star beings and highest light spirit guides for your greatest good i was sent by the council of light and i'm here to get you to your highest timeline that golden timeline so if you're interested in anything like that go ahead and hit that like share subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll know when I come out with a new reading. Not only does this help me to pick up on your energy so I can channel for you more directly, but it helps me to share my light and love the world for which I am ever so grateful. I have links below in the description if anyone would like to purchase in these cards, anyone would like a personal reading, a link to my manifest frequency channel with the background music where I put out frequencies and subliminals to help you manifest your ultimate reality. So if you're interested in anything like that, go ahead and check that out below. I also have new shops open and an Etsy shop. I have some um, links below, some coupon codes if you want to check that out. Um, so yes, and then I'll have links um, again for all these cards. I already said that. Let's go ahead and do this reading. It is super early. We've got three cards for you to choose from. Ooh, let's go ahead and bless. We're going to bless this reading with a little sage. For this beautiful one, one, one. Capricorn a new moon portal. Okay, we're gonna bless you and we're gonna bless this reading. Thank you so much. I've already meditated and called in the angels. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael, for holding this space. We're gonna cleanse the cards real quick. Okay, there we go. And these are blessings for you. And we'll leave this to burn over here. And then we'll go ahead and get you a few charms. We've got this Seraphim Gateway is card number one. A new start is coming. New Moon, card number two. And Cocoon of White Light, Rest in Perfect Love, card number three. And that's also card number 19. We're going to get a few charms for you for group number one. A star, a seahorse. Actually, we have two seahorses. Two seahorses and a flower. I think we need to get one more, one or two more charms for group number one spirit. What do you have for me? Okay, I have the tree of life and a mermaid. These are definite watery vibes here. A mermaid. Now for group number two, a new start is coming, new moon. Let me get a few charms for you. I got many more charms this time. I have an angel. I have a shell. A rose key, key to the divine feminine. We have a heart, it says, made with love made with love we have a pumpkin we have some musical notes we have a bee and we have a turtle all right let me go ahead and get some chimes for group number three Card number 19 cocoon of white light we have a fleur de lis oh there's fluffies in my hand. We have a fleur de lis, fluffy fleur de lis. We have a skull and crossbones, and we have another mermaid. So this is harking back to group number one. Let me get a couple more chimes for group three. Here. What do you have for me? I've got the wheel. I have a butterfly, appropriate, and a wing. Okay, I'll go ahead and run this third eye chakra bowl to help you choose your group.
those you most resonate with. You could have messages in more than one group, as is often the case. So if you're called to more than one group or more than one set of germs or cards, please go ahead and check that other group out and see if you have some messages there. I'll have links below in the description. And I'll see you guys in your group. Welcome to group number one, <laughs> two, one, <laughs> group number one. If you chose card number one, you chose this beautiful seraphim gateway, voice activation, angelic attunement, divine support. We've got a mermaid or siren. We have a star. We have two seahorses. We have the tree of life and we have a flower. Okay, let me go ahead and tap into your messages. From spirit group number one from the angels what's going on for this one one cosmic portal group number one I see a doorway of light I see a doorway of light and they're showing me a star and I believe through this doorway you are the star that is going to be blossoming they're showing me multiple rays coming out of this star we have six rays coming out so it's a six-pointed star you have six rays coming out and these are they say that you're aligning all of your chakras aligning all of your chakras is bringing a powerful activation in for this one 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 portal and i may say maybe some of you have just been working on chakra activation or alignment but i hear that this is coming to fruition for some of you um let's see what else they've got for me you are divinely protected in this time and they're showing me that you are connected to the tree of life right now if you've been retrieving they're showing me the access to multiple timelines. So this is a timeline shift and you have been connected to multiple timelines. Through this, you have been able to extract your skills from multiple timelines. And this has been very healing for your soul. This is time for you to blossom. So this is a blossoming of your soul through this portal and this beautiful starlight activation. Now this is um, also a voice activation, so they're showing me with the voice of the, the mermaid or the siren, they're showing me the voice as having a resonance, a resonance that draws in others, a divine resonance because you were divinely protected. So there's something that you've come here to do. I've got, I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards, but let's go ahead and get your daily oracle first. It says you're looking for opportunities. If you're looking for opportunities, create them. If you're looking for opportunities, create them. Okay, let me go ahead and get a few tarot cards. So this is a time to manifest your reality through this portal. This is the time for you cre to create the opportunities. Reach out to others. Ask for divine support. This is a call to action. And we're getting some of these mermaid tarot cards because we have so many watery energies here. They're showing me the Hierophant. Connect with your true self and heed the mystic whispers of wisdom from within you. So I believe you already know where it is that you should be going. This is going to be a time of deep reflection for you, of deep spiritual connection. As you're connecting to this, this is a starlight. This is a beautiful starlight upgrade. You're connecting to this star frequency within you and it's blossoming this lotus flower. I'm seeing the lotus flower blossoming. They're showing me this is justice. So now it says, I'll pull fairness as a guiding principle, making kind and compassionate decisions. And perhaps you've been in this hanged man energy, this suspension, and you've been having to surrender to the ebb and flow of life's currents and release outdated patterns and beliefs. Yes, I do feel this is what has been happening most recently. And this is what's helping get you through this gateway. There's justice. You're upholding fairness in whatever these decisions are. This is justice. Justice for these energies, justice for these karmic cycles, they're wanting me to show you the Schumann resonance and I haven't, I didn't show it in the beginning. So let me go ahead and show you there's some incredible power that just came through. I hope you can see my phone is not too, uh, 
Nasi, that there's some incredible waves of high frequency consciousness that has been coming through, high frequency activations, and it's going all the, all the way through these high frequencies, the highest frequencies. And look how powerful it is here. We know that it's going higher, higher than the Schumann resonance. And if it's so powerful here, it is in this sharp Schumann resonance that's actually affecting our physical body, our autonomic nervous system. So now we're having the, we're being forced to go through some things. Now this is giving you a higher a higher perspective. This higher perspective connecting to your true self is what they're showing me and heeding these whispers within. So you are becoming your own higher power. Instead of looking to the religions or the religious rules or the systems to tell you where to go and what to believe, you are starting to believe in yourself and connecting to your higher self. And this is just as uh, for these twin partnerships, for anyone who follows twin partnerships, or for these divine partnerships, because they're showing me the 11 and the two partners as being separated, and this blossoming. So take this how it resonates. I read from the collective. Please only take what resonates. They're, they're showing me this is... Uh, you're going to be traveling somewhere very soon. They're showing me that it's very mystical, and you are in the company of angels. You are in the company of angels right now. So you were divinely blessed and guided, and you will be divinely blessed and guided on this travel. Wherever you're being called to travel to, it's going to bring about great magic, they're showing me. Great magic. Let's go ahead and get some tarot cards. Oh, gosh. Oh, and I, I have a bonus card at the, at the, on the floor here. <laughs> A bonus card, Wheel of Fortune. Surrender the tides of fate and know they will shift, bringing new opportunities. And look, it says, if you're looking for new opportunities, create them. So this is the Wheel of Fortune you are creating for yourself. This is the Wheel of Fortune you are spinning, going through this portal. Perhaps you're using the frequencies. I put out this um, 111, uh, 111 Cosmic Portal frequency. Uh, actually, I had a little trouble with the upload um, and editing, so we, we actually, I just re-uploaded. It's uploading now. It should be out sometime this morning. It'll probably be out before this video is released. It says this Knight of Coins. See, this is actually bringing in your abundance. These new opportunities, they're going to be uh, blossoming for you, and this abundance, this Knight of Coins, and it's like they're showing you that you're searching for the money, and the, all you have to do is let the abundance flow to you. Let these opportunities flow to you. Um, now, you are going to be creating them with something that you're doing. They're showing me the emperor. You're becoming a master of your reality. A master at this magic and creating this abundance. With the ten of coins, you're actually going to an amazing place. You're promised that you're going to get there. This is where this portal is taking you. It looks like it's really in a portal of abundance for you. See, you have two different paths. They're showing me the two of wands. There were two different paths. Perhaps, um, and this is the journey. You're setting off on this journey. This journey is what's going to take you to this abundance. It's going to take you to this fulfillment. And they're wanting me to light a candle. We're going to light a candle for this abundance. We're going to light a candle for this ten of coins. We're going to light a candle for these new beginnings, for this new moon. This is our new moon ritual. This is our new moon ritual. I have a new moon ritual this evening planned uh, with at least, at least three, three sisters. This magical number of three. Magical number of three. Let's go ahead and get some more cards. Let's see. Yes, you controlling your reality, taking control of your reality, standing in this improver energy and creating, looking for, creating these opportunities through manifestation, through magic and travel, travel. It's bringing justice. It's bringing justice. You're wanting me to get some Earth Alchemy Oracle cards. And this is a speaking your truth. They're showing me with the voice activation, the seraphim gateway, this angelic attunement, this divine support. It comes from speaking your truth. This voice activation is actually going to help create more opportunities for you. It's going to bring about more magic with this special divine quality you're going to have about your voice. 
the uh, this is going to be fertile ground. It's going to create fertile ground for these new energies with this Pegasus and Unicorn, Ethiopian Opal. This Pegasus and Unicorn energy, this Rainbow Child energy, this magic that you're going to be creating. This magic. And they've got, I've got two more cards here for you. With a pixie helpers and green adventuring, not all wanderers are lost. This is clearing the way for luck and opportunities, okay? Especially if you're traveling, if you're feeling lost right now, if you're feeling this hanged man energy, your pixie helpers are here to help you, this company of angels, these fairies that surround you, this magical energy is helping to clear the way. These frequencies, these high frequencies are helping to clear the way and they're bringing in luck and opportunity with a magic, uh, with a magic cacao. <laughs> Mama cacao, but this cacao could be magical for you. Perhaps you're doing some sort of cacao ritual, but this is a mama cacao and rhodonite heart opening. Heart opening. Heightened sensitivity, unifying, and high on love. You may be very sensitive with this heightened sensitivity because your heart is opening and you're making these kind and compassionate decisions and upholding fairness and you're using these guiding principles that you've gotten from this divine support and connecting to your higher self. This is going to be very soothing and healing for you in the long run. This is going to be very unifying, unifying within and unifying without. And maybe you're feeling this magic. Maybe you're feeling this high on love frequency from all of these high frequencies that have been coming in for you. They're wanting me to check the time. 11.02. So it was just 1111. That's exactly when they wanted me to check the time. This is a magical, magical portal, a magical opportunity for you. And you have all these opportunities abounding. This is you. This is you creating your reality. You creating your reality. This Nine of Cups. This Nine of Cups. This ultimate. You have all these choices. Look at all these choices you're going to have around you. This is what you are creating with this Emperor energy. This is what you are creating. And I'm so excited for you. I want to send you so many blessings on this beautiful new moon portal. I was told to do these readings a little bit short. So they're telling me to cut this one a little short. So we'll go ahead and cut this off now. Let me get you a spirit of the animals. Actually, they're telling me an angels of abundance. I feel some great abundance coming in for you. So we're gonna do an angels of abundance card. Bountiful nature. Spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and remind you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with your limitless vastness. And this is so true right now. This is going to be so healing for you. Especially right now, there is a special sunspot portal that is going, um, that is direct towards the earth right now. Um, and I, I've been laying out in my yard. I have put a tarp down and a blanket because we've had this snowstorm, but we had the, snow, the sun come in and it was beautiful and it warmed up and I was able to put a tarp and a blanket on the ground and sit out under the, the sun in the sun with all of my dogs in a beautiful fur coat. And it was so wonderful and I felt such beautiful vibration. So this is the heart, the heart of the sun frequencies that are coming through right now, healing and activating these higher heart. This is, this is this high on love. This is this you unifying feeling that's coming through right now. So Bibs, go ahead and get some sunlight and make sure to get outside in nature. This is going to be very good for you at this time. And they're showing me the bottom of the deck for savings. And it says, as you consistently save your, for your future, your future is saved. Do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. So this is a beautiful message of savings, a beautiful message of this beautiful magic portal that's happening right now and where you're going and how you're going to be able to manifest this beautiful ten of coins so I'm so excited for you I'm so excited for you in this time please let me know how this reading resonates with you or just send some light and love to collective or just give me a hot shout out you guys because I love hearing from you my beautiful soul family star family I'm sending you so much light and love and I'll talk to you guys soon Hello and welcome to group number two. If you chose card number two, two, you chose this beautiful new start is coming, new moon. And we have an angel 
We have made with love a little heart. We have a heart made with love. We have a light worker bee. We have this beautiful shell, this beautiful clam shell. We have this turtle and we have these musical notes. So let me go ahead and tap in for you. Group number two for your messages. And we'll go ahead and um, they want me to put this right here. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and tap into your messages from spirit uh, for this one one magical new moon portal group number two you are going through ascension energies they are showing me rising with mother earth you are rising with mother earth and there's been some new starlight activations that have just come in for you now they're showing me this arrow this sagittarius arrow for this action and moving forward now i also feel that something's going to be coming through for you by this next sagittarius season so a year from now this portal that you're going through right now this new moon portal it's going to be activating something it's going to be jumping you into a new reality so as you're going through this portal today as you're going through this portal over the next few days or it's timeless whenever you see this as you are going through this portal whatever you are activating right now this is going to be coming to fruition in some in Sagittarius season is what they are telling me they're also showing me this action and moving forward now for some of you this may come sooner with this action as they are showing me and they're showing me and moving forward into the next year so we're showing he's they're showing me in 2025 on 2026 this is actually moving you forward in this complete new reality you're going into a complete new reality through these ascension energies and this is angelically led you have a pathfinder turtle that is here showing you the way and they're showing me the divine masculine helping to show the way they're showing me shiva they're showing me uh, Brahma, Krishna, I'm getting a few different energies here. I've got Odin, I've got the Divine Masculine, I've got these um, sons of Osiris, I've got these brothers of Horus, sons of Osiris, brothers of Horus, so Osiris energy here as well. So it's Pathfinder of the Divine Masculine moving forward. These light worker bees, it's activating these light worker bees and they're showing me all this light, all these light frequencies coming in as being majorly activating and the frequencies as well. So there's high frequencies, these, this musical notes, but this is a Syrian energy, this musical notes that's getting you there. So for some of you, music may be very speaking to your soul. It may be this magic carpet, the magic magic carpet that just lifts you there. So music is very important in this group. Also, you could be creating music. They're showing me if there's some of you, you've came in with these packets, um, handmade for you. And um, this music is made with love. Now, some of these, take it how it resonates. These, these, <laughs> these messages are coming in really fast and I have a few different a uh, few different messages. Some of these music, some of these uh, songs are handmade with love just for you just for you. Now, some of you, you've come in with these packets of information within. They're showing me the shell as the clam shell and within is all of this information. These blueprints are all this music that you are going to be able to create all of this music. So the music within your soul uh, music, this is, uh, and this journey is handmade for you. This journey that you are going on, uh, this is handmade, hand tailored to your soul to get you to this highest timeline. And this is a beautiful, beautiful message I am hearing. They're wanting me to get some tarot cards now. And I'm doing some archetype cards as well. The Queen of Pentacles and the Magician. The Queen of Pentacles and the Magician. See, this divine feminine energy is combining with the divine masculine to manifest your reality. You are this beautiful magician energy. And now you're learning this abundance can flow to you. You're cultivating this abundance through um, earthing, through beauty, through enjoying nature, through appreciation, through gratitude. Um, do you have all of this abundance around you already, but this is going to be nurturing for your soul. Maybe you're realizing you have this abundance around you now. Maybe you're realizing the abundance of these nature energies around you, these frequencies, this divine Sophia, this divine feminine energy that is nurturing your soul and helping you stand in this beautiful magician energy where you can just create anything you want and these are the golden timelines that you're bringing in the golden timelines that you are creating they want me to get some oh they're just showing me this is the card for you it came right out this is the medallion the medallion 
This is the portal. This is you reaching for that golden timeline. Oh, look, they want me to show you this, um, this burn that I have on my table. This is one of those happy incidents. This is a happy accident when you don't get upset about things that are happening. This actually happened during a ritual. This happened during a ritual where these twin flames were uh, created in my uh, manifestation ritual for the full moon. And it actually, normally I move them from my table, but for some reason when they're burning low, I leave them to burn, to burn, uh, to bring in all these blessings, to bring in all these manifestations. But this this time I was led to leave it on my table and I did. And the twin flame that was created by emollient seed and the flame that emerged into one created a fire so hot that it melted through the acrylic uh, little candle uh, canister and burned into my table. This actually created a portal for me. This actually created something magical on my timeline. So there might be something that seems out of place and maybe something that seems to have gone wrong, but this actually could be something that you're reaching for. This could be a magical element that was created to help get you to this new timeline. It was highly activating and very healing for me. It was like opening up to new bliss, opening up to new information, new light codes and frequencies coming in, expanding your, expanding your chakras. Expanding your crown chakra is what they are showing me. And let's go ahead and get some more cards. We're wanting to get a different set of tarot here, so let me grab that. And I'm feeling some analogy cards. Some gateway of life activation. We have not pulled your daily oracle yet. Nine of pentacles. Look what you're going to. This is what you were manifesting with this medallion. What did he say? You're going to this beautiful golden timeline where you have all the options and all the abundance. And these spirit guides are just bringing it to you. They're showing me. These earth elements, these earth energies, this earth thing. And they're showing me the, the jewels around your neck as being very wealthy. This is something you were manifesting. This is the golden timeline. They want me to get your daily oracle now. Something big is coming. Your actions will help determine what it is. Isn't this a beautiful picture? Something big is coming. I want you to be able to see this whole picture as I lay it down. Let me see where I can put this for you. Right here, right here. Something big is coming. Something big is coming. Your actions will help determine what it is. Here we go. Something big is coming. You're going to be creating this with magic, uh, with, with powerful manifestation ability. Perhaps you're doing some rituals or meditations, listening to frequencies. You could be sitting outside in nature um, under these new energies that have just come through with the Schumann resonance and the sun spark that is moving across the sun and is earth direct right now and is sending these heart of the earth frequencies. This is a very good time to be sitting in the sun. This is a very good time to be soaking up these codes. This is a very good time to be manifesting your reality. Let going of all the old things that no longer serve you and moving to higher timelines. Something big is coming. I'm so excited. This is the most beautiful reading. See, they show me you're going to the world. There's these new frequencies that come in this new fire that's creating action. It's going to be a new beginning. A new beginning where you go to the world where you are in these world frequencies. I, you could be traveling. You could be traveling. This is going to manifest your abundance. It's taking you exactly where you need to go. And they wanted me to look at the numbers and it's got, I've got 909 on the clock. With the eight of cups, they're showing me it was a walking away from these hurtful energies. Walking away from those that didn't fill your cup completely. Maybe you were filling others' cups, but they weren't filling yours. This is walking away with these moon energies, with these new moon energies. And they're showing that by the crescent moon, you're going to be feeling differently. You're going to be feeling much differently. I just pulled out these cards automatically, but I feel I need to get the gateway of light activation card. So let's go ahead and see. You have incoming communication. There's letters. There could be letters or emails. This, there's, there's something coming in. This communication uh, is, is actually helping you to walk away from these energies, to let go of these older energies that are hurting you. And they're going to be more incoming communication. They're showing me the bottom of the deck. Oh, 
this is a mat this is a miracle they're showing me at the bottom of the deck <laughs> and i don't know how this happened but this is a beautiful magical manifestation again you could have some messages in group number one but this is acceptance have acceptance and courage with this amethyst but what i feel like with this amethyst perhaps you're using an amethyst to help balance these energies perhaps you're using an amethyst to manifest but this is a i'm feeling the violet flame i'm feeling the violet flame very strongly here and they're showing me these cards were tucked in. These cards were tucked in in this sacred space. In this sacred space, these are the things that are that are coming through for you. This is a new beginning in love. An ultimate of love. This is having all the energies around you. Having all these beautiful love energies. It's going to be so fulfilling to your soul. So fulfilling to your soul. I'm so excited. And I feel new sacred spaces coming in for you as well. Let's get some gateway of light activation cards. I wonder if we're going to have any more surprises. And I'm feeling um, a moonology card as well. Since we have another moonology card in this deck. In this reading. The ancestral realm. This is a karmic release. Healing the lineage and setting boundaries. This is what's going on right here with this Eight of Cups energy. And this is also a higher heart activation. And I was talking about that heart of the sun uh, energizing you right now. This is dropping shields and submitting to divine love, feeling this divine love within you and without. And dealing with this with all persons in this divine love. Because your heart is healed. Your heart is being healed from these energies that are coming through. They're showing me the bottom of the deck as uh, connecting to the Order of Melchizedek. You are embraced by light and your mission is covered. Don't give up. Perhaps you've been working on this for a while. They're showing me you reaching for this, reaching for this initiation, reaching for these energies. Because your mission has been uncovered and you're going to get there. This is going to be a beautiful golden timeline for you. Reaching for these energies, these Melchizedek energies and this Merkaba activation. This stuff with wisdom, these ancient Egyptian activations that have come through. And now we're going to get some. We've got a few dragon cards here too. There we go. We've got dragon or dragon reading coming out very soon. I'm so excited for my collaboration. Keep an eye out for that. It'll come out very soon, you guys. We're just wanting to get some new moon, uh, new moon, moonology cards. Give us moon. You are very close to achieving your goals. You are very close to achieving your goal, releasing these karmic, releasing these karmic cycles. Connecting to the ancestral realm and healing your DNA and healing your bloodline. And this is a beautiful, beautiful, most amazing message I'm so happy to share with you. Please let me know how this resonates, you guys. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. Or you can just send a shout out to the Divine Collective just to help to raise the vibration. I, I, It takes me a while to answer your messages, guys, but please bear with me. I just love reading your comments throughout the day. Please know, even if it, if it takes me a while to respond, I am actually just so thrilled with all the energies that you're sending through to me, and I am ever so grateful. I'm also grateful for all your readings and your donations. I'm ever so grateful for all the special energy that you send to me the gifts the letters the frequencies the vibrations i'm ever so grateful so i'm just sending that gratitude to you through this 111 portal i'm sending you so much light and love and i'll talk to you soon hello and welcome to group number three if you chose card number three you chose this beautiful cocoon of white light card and we have a fleur de lis we have a butterfly, we have a mermaid, we have a wing, we have a wheel, and we have the skull and crossbones. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into your messages from spirit for this beautiful 1-1 one, one cosmic portal, new moon portal, group number three.
Group number three, I feel a rise of crystal light within you is going to elevate your status. I feel an elevation in frequency, and this is actually going to cause an elevation in status. They show me right now that you are being cocooned in this white light. I see a beautiful white light around you, so they showed me the crystal cross and these lights light coming out from the cross within you um, and then this cocoon of white light around you um, and this is raising your vibration and taking you to a higher timeline and this is actually elevating you in status on the planet earth so this is the changing of the guards for these royal star seeds now you may be connected to the Mintaka, uh, Mintaka, you may be connected to the Orion Wars, you could be connected to Pleiades. I'm feeling some very Ooh Series B as well. I'm feeling some very watery planets here, you could be connected to the Council of Light. Take this how it resonates. I read from the collective and there's lots of different people here, but I see right now that there's a death process to these karmic cycles. This is a transcending and rising up and this is becoming something new. You are transforming into something new because they're showing me the caterpillar. There's really the caterpillar smoking on the hookah and all the all the smoke around and then all of a sudden poof into a butterfly. So there's been some frequencies of maybe this cocoon of white light that's around you right now is getting ready to actually transform you again. You could be transforming again if you've already done this transformation before. And now I'm seeing the, the, they're showing the images I was seeing in my mind as the images on the card. And this also Merkaba activation as well. An ancient Egyptian activations that's activating the golden children and activating this golden seed of knowledge, this golden seed of knowledge within. This chalice for the chalice bloodline, for the maidens, for the oracles and maidens of the temple. These are very, very divine messages for the divine feminine. They want me to go ahead and get this daily oracle message for you. It says, it is the best, is it in the best interest of all involved? This seems to be the higher purpose right now of what's most important and the things that you're thinking and the choices that you are making. Is it in the best interest of all involved? Let's see, we'll put it right here so you can see it. They're wanting me to actually flip it to another one. So this is, this is just a message for someone. They want me to flip it. Success is just an abstract word that no one ever relates to. So perhaps this has to do with your success or the way you treat others or how you feel about yourself and feeling that you have succeeded in life. Because I do feel that you're going somewhere. An abstract word that no one relates to. What is success out of these karmic cycles? What is success away from these energies? These death processes that you're going through away from these energies. Perhaps you're going to a rebel energy or you're moving away from a rebel energy. But I feel, I feel shadow forces. Perhaps you're moving away from shadow forces. What exactly does success at that look like? Because that's an abstract word that no one relates to. You get to choose. You get to choose how this looks. You get to choose choosing the best with best intentions with the highest good for all involved pure intentions with this cocoon of white light and this higher heart chakra activation that's been coming through right now from the sun from these sun frequencies from these higher activations that have been coming through they're showing me the bottom of the deck it's going to be leading you to travel these activations to, to um, connect in these ley lines all over the earth. There's going to be special energetic points you're going to connect to, some of you. For some of you, this is the case. And they're showing me underneath the travel is success. Success, an abstract, abstract word, but what does success mean to you? Perhaps this is happiness. Perhaps this is freedom. Perhaps this is joy. Perhaps this is the ability to relax. Perhaps this is just not having a care in the world. Honestly, that sounds like success to me, but they're showing me wealth. <laughs> wealth. You're going to actually go to wealth. You have this wealth success. This is this portal, this 111 portal. Travel is going to bring you success and wealth. And this will be in whatever form is most useful to you. They're wanting me to get some crystal medicine oracle guides now. Heliodor, Divine Masculine in the Sun. 
See, I feel it's this divine masculine activation coming from the sun, coming from Ra, coming from Solaris, from our beautiful Solaris. Thank you so much for these beautiful activating frequencies, balancing, balancing the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Perhaps some of you are going to be traveling to a divine masculine. Or if you are the divine masculine, perhaps this travel is bringing about balance within you. And they're showing me enlightenment, bringing about higher enlightenment, higher wisdom. The heliodor, these sun frequencies are coming through. And they're showing me 1-1 one, one on the card for the 1-1-1 one, one, one portal. We've got 1-1-1 one, one, one here and we've got 9-1-1 one, one here as well. These numbers could have some meaning for you. Take this how it resonates. They're showing me the bottom of the deck as the divine feminine. The divine feminine rising with these moon energies. With this new moon energy and the dark of the moon. It's combining with this divine masculine. It's bringing balance. It's bringing balance within and without. As within, so without. And this could be a great success for you. This balance. This black tourmaline is negating all the negative energies. And they're showing me this divine feminine as being shamanic. These very shamanic energies, healing the womb space, healing Mother Gaia and raising with the Divine Feminine. Raising with Mother Gaia. Falling deep within the mysteries. Falling deep within the mysteries. There could be more magic to uncover with these activating frequencies that are coming in for you. We haven't got any tarot cards yet. These are all mixed up. We can't use these. Let's see what we've got for you over here. Hmm, I feel these divine. Tarot of the divine. Divine frequencies here. Divine masculine, divine feminine. The world, divine partnerships. It's taking you to the world. These divine activations. It's taking you to the world. It's bringing you ultimate completion and joy. In the world with travel, you could be called to travel the world. They're showing you the bottom of the deck with the five of wands. It's taking you out of these argumentative energies. It's taking you out of this fighting. Let's go ahead and put it down because they want me to pull a few more of these cards and then I need to get. They're showing me, oh wait, well let's go ahead and, and shuffle you guys. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Was there an ultimate loss or betrayal? Ah, they're showing me with these Five of Wands energies. For the Divine Feminine, having been locked in these karmic cycles and losing the, the loss of the Divine Masculine, this Isis and Osiris frequency, this Oracle frequency of healing from all of this loss, of bringing you out of these Four of Swords energies. You felt attacked and abused and tied up. Maybe this is new information that's come in that's told you about these energies. And they're wanting me to get one of these archetype cards. I do feel this is coming out of karmic cycles. They're showing me the sustainer. That this is going to be sustainable for you in the future. This success because you are creating this. The creator. You are the creator. And you are going to be sustaining your own energies with this, with this balance of the divine feminine and the divine masculine within you and within this planet. These energies are going to be sustained. They're showing me these high frequencies coming into the earth and these changes, these newer high frequency changes, this timeline shift is going to be, it's going to be kept here. That you're moving to the new earth. They're showing me this is the new earth is being created. It's being created by these frequencies and you're holding these frequencies in. Letting go of these frequencies with this balance. You're moving to the world. You're promised success. Or I wanted to get a gateway of light activation card for you and some moonology cards. So let's see what we've got. For this beautiful blue moon, this, this new beginning. This new beginning, I feel like there has been some anxiety. Uh, maybe I'm feeling it in my back. Um, I'm feeling it right in the center um, look at the top center of my back, some anxiety. Maybe there was some weight on your shoulders. Maybe it was from all these hurtful energies, this betrayal, abandonment. This is a rising above that. It's a rising above. 
This is honestly retribution for these energies I am hearing. Because a new romantic cycle begins. This is a new moon in Libra. This is a new romantic cycle of balance between the divine masculine and the divine feminine. This is this new moon. These are Libra energies. Libra energies of balance. I'm also feeling Pisces and Aquarius and Leo here. A Gemini. Now you may not be uh, one of these, but I am feeling these energies. And I was going to say Sagittarius, and look what just came out. New moon in Sagittarius, luck is on your side. Just in case I didn't say it, they popped that card right out. So these are definitely Sagittarius energies. Again, you might have messages um, in another group. And uh, yes, because we were talking about the action of moving forward in group number two. So you may have messages there if you're called to that group at all. Please go ahead and check that out. It was a beautiful reading. So this success is your promised luck in this. And right now they're telling me that your dreams need a practical plan for this full moon in Taurus. Perhaps this travel, perhaps you're being called to plan out this travel now. Maybe there's some, um, well, maybe you have to get your passport in order. But this is definitely being called to do that now. And it's not a rush for this. This is a nurturing, a slow, steady pace. Again, no need to rush because you're learning to go with the flow. There may have been a lot of things thrown at you. You're healing from these energies. This is a heart healing. This is a balance. This is a balance. There was a lot of, of heartful energies that you were in. With these four of swords, this nine of swords, and this five of wands. It was like a cycle. They're showing me a six cycle. And success is bringing you out of these karmic cycles. Success, again, you have luck. You have beautiful luck on your side. They want me to check the time. Oh, I see one, two, two, eight. A one, two, two, and this eight for this karmic cycles. This eight for abundance. This eight for moving out of karmic cycles and moving into abundance. So this is a beautiful message. They're wanting me to just get one card to finish out this reading for you. Group number three. Wealth and success and, and luck is on your side. This is balance. This is incredible. I don't know why I'm feeling so weighed down. Perhaps you felt weighed down recently. I'm wanting you to know, definitely use that violet frame. You've got this beautiful cocoon of white light that's around you right now. They're showing me the bottom of the deck dragon a supernatural because you are this dragon supernatural energy and these dragon supernatural energies are coming in for you they want you to feel the dragon they want you to feel these dragon energies and i've got dragon messages coming out so i feel there's going to be very important messages for you there so definitely check out my dragon heart reading that's going to be coming out the collab with space age Bay, and she's doing dragon luck and luck is on your side so there's going to be beautiful messages for you there it says you are the ancient wise sage you can shapeshift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. And what a beautiful, beautiful message. I wanted to get one more thing just to bless you on your way out. Let me see what I've got here. Dreams of abundance. Dreams of abundance as you sleep. God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into your reality. Maybe some of you are working on this dream journal now, or maybe you're just delving more into your dream to, to decipher what they mean, but you're definitely getting information. Information that's coming through in your dreams that's actually going to inspire you give you beautiful answers and solutions. So this is your, your dreams are definitely divinely led right now and you are supernatural. These are supernatural energies that's coming in for you. You are divinely led, it's leading you to success. It's leading you to success. Um, out of these beautiful energies, you are a royal star seed. You are divinely blessed and guided. Please let me know how it resonates with you guys because I love hearing from you guys down below in the comments. Or if you want to send a shout out just to raise the vibrations of the collective, I'm ever so grateful for all your beautiful energies. Even if it takes me a while to respond, I just want you to know that I do read all of your comments and all of your well wishes and I'm ever so grateful. And I'm ever so grateful for everyone purchasing a personal reading, for sending donations, for sending any sort of beautiful energy towards me whatsoever i'm ever so grateful for you i'm sending you so much light love and blessings and i'll talk to you guys soon